This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445693-1. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by September 12th, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. A recording of this presentation is currently posted on the project's webpage. The Florida Department of Transportation is required to comply with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at Jacqueline.Paramore at D-O-T dot s-t-a-t-e dot f-l dot u-s. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This public meeting was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register on FDOT's Public Notices website, in the Orlando Sentinel, and on social media and on the project webpage. In addition, adjacent property owners, interested individuals, elected and appointed officials, and government agencies were also notified about this public meeting. This project is located on East Colonial Drive or State Road 50 from Thornton Avenue to Mills Avenue in the city of Orlando, Orange County. The purpose of this project is to improve safety for drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists. Currently, the intersection of East Colonial Drive and Mills Avenue is a signalized intersection with existing pedestrian crosswalks. East Colonial Drive provides two through lanes in each direction with a center turn lane. Left turn and through movements from Thornton Avenue onto East Colonial Drive are prohibited. The proposed improvements consist of reconstructing and upgrading the Mills Avenue traffic signal, constructing a traffic separator to define the eastbound left turn lane to Mills Avenue, and reconstructing and extending all four of the corners at Thornton Avenue to improve safety for pedestrians. The proposed intersection improvements will replace the existing traffic signal equipment with mast arm signal poles in the northwest and southeast corners, provide upgraded pedestrian features including new curb ramps and improved crosswalks, and upgrade pedestrian lighting at the intersection. 
The traffic separator will be constructed next to the extended left turn lane on East Colonial Drive west of the intersection. The purpose of the traffic separator is to provide a physical barrier to reinforce the existing left turn restrictions from Thornton Avenue onto East Colonial Drive. Reduce the potential for conflicts between through traffic and left turning vehicles and more clearly define the extended eastbound left turn lane. The corners at the intersection with Thornton Avenue will be reconstructed and extended to help improve pedestrian safety by reducing the pedestrian crossing distance and the time pedestrians are in the street. It also helps to improve the ability of pedestrians and drivers to see each other. The new curb will replace the existing pavement markings at the intersection. No changes are planned for the on-street parking. The design for this project is expected to finish in summer 2022. All improvements will be constructed within the existing FDOT right-of-way. Construction is funded and expected to begin in fall 2022 at an estimated cost of $833,000. To learn more about this project, you can go to www.cflroads.com. Click on the search icon and enter the project number 445693-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then, click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by September 12th 10 days after the public meeting will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445693-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly to eliode.joseph at dot.state.fl.us. You may mail written comments and questions to the project manager, Elio Joseph, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, MS 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5388 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, Thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by September 12th. Contact information, a recording of this public meeting, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting will be posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash four four five six nine three dash one have a good evening